Hi, I'm attorney Renee Azapov with Shelley Law, and we assist veterinarians with employment contract issues. Today, I'm talking about what needs to be in a termination letter um, for a veterinarian um, who's employed at a veterinary practice. So the short answer is it needs to be uh, direct um, and really doesn't actually need to include too much. So to start off, though, um, first you need to know if you can terminate your contract, if it has to be for cause or without cause. And you're going to start with your employment agreement. There's normally or there should be, and you should always look for this before you sign an employment agreement, uh, a without cause termination. And what that means is you can have a cause or you can have no cause at all. Um, and you don't have to disclose that when you terminate your employment with the veterinary practice. Uh, normally, there is a notice provision in there, which states that you have to give the uh, employer anywhere from 60 to 90 days notice um, that you will be ending your employment uh, agreement. There's also going to be a clause in your employment agreement itself that normally states how to give proper notice. So where are you going to be turning that termination letter into? Um, is it a person? Uh, do you have to mail it, hand deliver it, uh, email it? Every contract should have a notice clause. However, they're all vastly different. So again, read that employment agreement um, and it's going to tell you how to turn in that letter. Now, most of the time I would say that it has to be in writing. Um, sometimes you can email it. Um, sometimes you can hand deliver it. You also want to be careful if it does state that you have to mail in your termination letter. Um, normally there's an address uh, where to send it to, and even sometimes there's more than one address. So you want to be careful. Also, it will also explain to you um, if your notice starts the day you mail your letter or if you have to count anywhere from one to three days before your notice starts. So this is important. Um, you should read this before you write your termination letter. Because in the termination letter, all it should state is that you are terminating your employment. You, this is you giving your proper notice and that your last day will be, and then you can fill that in. Um, if you want to thank them for all of their you know, support and opportunities, you can. Um, but really only is required is that it's in writing that you are notifying them that you're going to terminate this agreement. It's also helpful sometimes um, if you want to let them know that you will assist them with the transition of a new veterinarian, but all situations are kind of different. Kind of depends on your relationship with them. If you're ending on bad circumstances, maybe the most direct route is the best route. Um, you do want to make sure though that you are giving proper notice for the full time. Um, sometimes we have clients call who need to give a shorter notice than what's required under the employment agreement. Um, this can, it can be a little um, stressful because you could technically be in breach of your contract. So if you ever need to give a shorter notice than you've actually agreed to give, um, you may want to consult an attorney or our office. Um, we also can assist with that. So again, just to reiterate, um, the employment agreement, if you're terminating it, needs to be done um, how it's written in the contract. Um, and normally it's in writing. You need to state that you are terminating your employment, you're giving notice, and that your last day, whenever that will be. If you have any future questions on how to terminate your contract, um, what sort of language should be in your termination letter, uh, please reach out to us. Our website is Shelley Law, C H E L L E Law.com, um, and we'd be happy to set up a consultation with you. Thanks.